We've got our spray truck here and our 200 gallon space saver tank where we mix our pre-emergence in and spray from. And then we have our Lesco 80 pound spreader here on the back with a uh, spreader caddy. And then our My Four Sons electric backpack sprayer, really nice. And then we have all of our hand pump sprayers there and then all of our mixed jugs go right here in this pull out drawer container and the best thing on this truck is our electric hose reel right here this makes the job super easy to reel right back in when you're done pulling hose let's rock and roll what's going on guys it's will kelly with military lawn cuts in today's video we are doing a ride along video so you are coming along with me to go out and do our pre-emergent rounds we're also going to do an ant control treatment whether you're just starting out in the spraying business fertilization weed control or you are a seasoned veteran this video and ride along vlog is going to be packed with nuggets and tips so make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video because you are not going to want to miss this content let's get after it here is where it all started okay this is our very first mo truck that we bought four years ago we bought it for four thousand dollars i can still remember putting the decals on the truck and after that, it, we were locked in and ready to go because basically once we got the vinyls on the truck, we there was no turning back because customers can see now, they can are going to call for services, but this is our very first truck. I still remember the emotions of going up and actually purchasing and negotiating, going to the ATM, pulling out cash to buy this truck but it still is in our fleet today. And this brings back the memories of where we started just mowing. And now we are more of a full service business where we require mowing and fertilization and weed control. Now with all things, especially in your business career and just getting things started, it's always important to understand the why or the reasoning behind why you're doing something. And so for us, the reason why we went and got chemically licensed is because I believe, number one, you can make a much better profit margin in fertilization and weed control than you can versus mowing. Now, I'm not disregarding mowing. We still do a lot of mowing today. In fact, we have five trucks that are constantly out mowing each day. However, I think the weed control is a nice kind of icing a nice upsell to the customer that you can uh, gain additional revenue with. So definitely something that you want to uh, think about when you, or if you are looking at expanding into uh, spraying lawns. So we just arrived at our very first property. So this one in particular is right behind me over here. That is the entrance way that we're going to uh, get to the backyard. And this is a backyard only out in Salina, which is our new location. And we are charging the customer $59.95, which means we charge $140 per man hour for our weed control services. So we have 25 minutes to complete this job. Let's get after it. Now, what I like to do on our very first property of the day is really just mix up that pre-emergent in the tank it's kind of been sitting there overnight i didn't mix this morning so i'll go ahead and get this thing started now i'll let that run for maybe three or four minutes get everything agitated mixed up real well and then we'll start to pull a hose and start to treat the lawn
All right, guys, we are all wrapped up for that first property. So we went two minutes over, so it took us 27 minutes, but that's okay because this was the first visit of the day and I had to uh, top off some of the backpacks and everything. So uh, we should be able to pick up some speed here pretty quick. There's a couple things that I wanted to mention now that we are kind of doing this a lot more. So there's two key nuggets that I would highly, highly recommend if you are looking at getting into spraying lawns and doing weed control is number one, you must have a electric hose reel. There's no way I could do what I do, knocking 15, 20 lawns out a day with a manual hose reel that I would have to reel up to two, 300 feet of hose. There's just no way I would be exhausted. I would not be able to do the production that I do now. The other thing is for the longest time, for literally three years, we use the steel backpack pump sprayers where you just like pump up and down. And that is okay for maybe those specialty weeds, but do not use those backpacks uh, once you get started, like, like I, okay, let me let me backtrack. If you're just getting started, the steel backpack pump sprays are good. That's that's the orange ones back there. But once you get going and you actually have like really good like route density and customers, you are going to want to get an electric uh, electric sprayer. That thing is an absolute game changer inside of the backpack. Here, let me just show you real quick. All right, so this is the My Four Sons backpack, and I'm obviously not getting paid for any promotion or anything like this, but this is an absolute game changer. On the side here, it actually has some, um, so you can adjust the pressure. I don't know if you guys can see down there. There's a knob down there that you can adjust the pressure. Also, this thing has an agitator inside. So no longer on these steel backpacks, do you have to just like shake it up and like move your back around and kind of look like a turtle on the lawn. This thing has an agitator inside. So you don't even have to ever worry about like mixing it up. It's awesome. Right behind me, we have property number two. So this one is going to be a full property. We are charging the customer $67.95 plus taxes and fees. So you got to understand that there is a credit card processing fee that gets a, a, a added to that and sales tax, which is 8.25% uh, down here in the state of Texas. So that is an additional fee that goes on top of the uh, charge that we're charging them of $67.95, which means we have 29 minutes to complete this job. Let's get after it. I'm just getting wrapped up with the weed control portion. Then we're gonna go through and ideally what we would wanna do here is put our pre-emergent down. But what I wanna show you guys before we do that is this little guy right here. So this is Dallas grass and this is one of the most hardest, toughest weeds to get rid of. Now the bottle for this weed costs $400. We use a bottle called Tribute Total. 
So it's very important to not mix that in your big tanks because you don't wanna be wasting a lot of that expensive product on just generic broadleaf weeds. Now, as I was going through with my backpack and spraying the weeds, I noticed that there are some stressed areas in this lawn. So this is a really good educational point for you guys that are just getting into this industry. Um, it's better to be safe than sorry. The last thing we wanna do is stress out the uh, grass even more. We've had really bad uh, drought, a really bad drought here in the last two months. So not a lot of rain. We just recently got rain uh, last week, but the lawns are still recovering. So the last thing we want to do is come through and put this heavy pre-emergent down, which can cause additional stress to the lawn. So we only want to do pre-emergent on very, very healthy lawns. Now, what I want to show you is some of these stressed areas and they're subtle, but they can make a big difference, right? So um, right here, see how it's real yellow? That is going to be an area that we want to put more of a safe 5, 10, 31 fertilizer down, which really helps boost the integrity of the lawn to help fight against diseases. Now, it's very, very subtle here, uh, but I'm in a new build community. And down here, um, again, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see this from the video, but there I can very faintly see that this was recently sodded. These are all new build community, new build homes here. So um, this one recently got new sod. Again, last thing you wanna do is put pre-emergent down on newly sodded uh, turf. And then I wanted to show you guys last thing here up at the front, see behind me here how it's real yellow. This is signs of stress. We, the last thing we wanna do is stress it out more. So we're just gonna be safe today and use a 510-31 with the push spreader. All right, just got wrapped up doing that lawn and we, I think we're like five to seven minutes over the budget amount of time, but guys, cut me some slack. I normally don't do this every day. It's been a while since I've been out spraying lawns. So cut me a little bit of slack there. Property number three is right behind me and I'm gonna show you guys a quick sneak peek on what I noticed right when I walked up. But before we do that, here we go. So. The price tag on this one is $64.95. It is a corner lot. We have to do the entire property, front, back, and sides. And we have roughly 28 minutes to complete this job. Now, what I wanna show you is when I pulled up here, I saw some stress. So again, anytime you're doing the pre-emergence, we do not wanna to continue to stress. Do you see how this is real yellow right here? but over here it's not. So what I'm gonna do as an applicator making the right judgment call is I'm gonna use a safe, a healthy fertilizer, a 510-31 to boost the root health of the grass to fight against any diseases. This is probably just a lack of water. Again, we're in a drought. And then over here, we're gonna be doing pre-emergent. So same thing over here. It looks like the front lawn, I would say 90% of it looks good. It looks a little yellow there, but it's it's good enough to get pre-emergent and then over here near the strip again we're going to come through with the push spreader and just give it some good healthy uh, nutrients
All right, so I just had to refill the broadleaf backpack that we use majority of the time. This is the nice electric one um, that you can get online. Uh, it's just, again, my four sons. I think this thing's like 250 bucks, but check this thing out. So it's got a nozzle back here that you just twist here. And it, if you watch the uh, liquid here, it'll start to move because it's getting agitated in there. There's actually an internal agitator inside of the tank. So no longer do we have to look like turtles on properties. So honestly, when you compare the two between your steel backpack and this guy, I think the steel are like 160 bucks and this guy's like 250. So to get started, I think that's a good choice. But once you get rolling, man, this thing is nice. It's like a Cadillac. The only thing that I would say about this is the batteries <clears throat> can get very expensive. So just keep that in mind. It's not just the price of the backpack. You also have to buy the batteries. And if you buy the super cheap ones, they're going to go out on you in a day or two. So we get the six amp, the most expensive ones, and those generally will last us about one week. All right, guys, so some stress right here. Switch it up. I'm actually gonna use the 51031 because there's some questionable areas. I don't know if you guys can see this on the uh, screen here, it's yellow, and uh, right over here as well. Let me show you guys the backyard because we just wanna make sure that we're not hurting the grass. And this fertilizer that we put down will just help boost the nutrients. So very, very green on the exterior, but a tint of yellow here see this uh questionable area coming in right here so just to be safe we're gonna hit it with the 510. so we just finished up that third property and while i was in the backyard the customer actually let her two dogs out and they started coming out and barking at me and i was a little nervous because there are some good dogs and then there are some naughty dogs that sometimes can bite but she said that they were uh, not biters so i was like whoo thank you uh, she did not know I was there. That's the thing about these applications is they're silent treatments. I don't make a lot of noise, especially when I'm pushing the spreader like that. I'm not making a whole lot of noise. So, um, but all in all, great time. Uh, we did uh, this property in 29 minutes. So I think we were a minute or two over what uh, our projected is. So huge improvement. Let's go and knock out this last ant control application and wrap it on up for the day. This is our last property of the day. It's gonna be a quick and easy one. We are going to be doing an insect control which covers all of your spiders, fleas, ticks, all ants, all of like those generic basic bugs that are found in the lawn. This is a great upsell for anybody that has like ants in their flower beds or in their lawn. We do a complete blanket with whether we're spraying or doing a granular. Today we're gonna to be doing a granular. Now, we have 34 minutes on this property because we are charging the customer $79.95. Remember that is before taxes. So there is also taxes and fees added on to that price. Let's get after it. And that is a wrap for the last treatment that we're doing today. So honestly, that took me probably eight minutes to do a uh, insect control treatment. Now, the reason why that's nice is because I don't have to spray any weeds. I'm really just push spreading or spraying the lawn and then that's it. So they typically are a lot quicker once you do get your license in this field or if you're out doing this as a job, 
those are like the best ones because you can get in and out super quick. Now, before you guys go, make sure to watch until the end because I'm gonna show you the end of day routine and how we actually clean our equipment. And I'm gonna share a couple other nuggets with you here. So if you're thinking about getting into spraying and treating lawns, I will tell you that it is a fantastic field it is a awesome upsell once you become a business owner. I think it's great to start mowing, like everybody should start mowing, but the minute you separate yourself and gain your knowledge and become more professional in your field with weed control, you can start to educate the customers better. You can fill them in on the diseases, the stress, the different weeds, and you can really take this, you could do insect control, you could do shrub and tree treatments, you can make a lot of money in this field and it does take a little bit more head knowledge and a little bit more attention to detail because you're mixing chemicals and doing all of that fun stuff. But I'm telling you, between this and mowing, both are great services. Let me preface that and say, let me tell you, both are great services. You can make a lot of money in both. But I will tell you that between the two, doing spraying lawns is a lot less physically demanding to your body. I don't know what it is. It's just less physical than actually pushing a mower. The other really nice thing about adding spraying to your services is that for us and generally most of the United States, it's a year round service. So it never, unlike mowing, will go to a point where there is an off season or uh, a winter season per se, because we're still doing winterizers in the winter. We're still doing winter pre-emergence, spring and fall pre-emergence. All right, guys, we made it back to the HQ. So basically end of day routine here is we need to get all of this gunk and stuff out of the spreader. So we do not want to leave that stuff in here because it will, the fertilizer is, act, can, is actually corrosive. So that can actually eat away at like the metal and everything. So I'll show you guys how to do that and what we do. This piece is really nice if you get this on the hose because all you got to do is move this and then water starts coming out and you can always cut it off. This is especially nice, this piece we got on Amazon uh, when you're filling up that big tank up there because to go have to go back and forth, it just saves a lot of time. So what we'll do is we'll wash this stuff down really, really good, get all this mud, get all this corrosive, open up all the holes. We'll open that up, open this up all the way, and we'll get in here and clean all this stuff out. Let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Guys, thank you so much for coming along on the ride with us today. There's a couple things that I wanted to uh, share, my last minute thoughts here. I want to bring the best value and content to you guys possible. If you found value in this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you have any questions on any of the systems, the products, the mixtures, the ratios, Anything that we talked about today, please put it in the comments below. I'm super interactive and I can ask or answer all of those questions for you guys. And look, if you are on the fence, listen to me, if you are on the fence about adding this skill set, this fertilization and weed control to your tool belt, adding it as an asset in your business, I highly, highly recommend to you to do it. Go out there, get licensed become, uh, reach out to your Department of Agriculture for your state, carry that license so that way you can bring that extra level of professionalism to your industry and your customers to really truly take care of their lawn. And guys, we wish you all the best. Go out there and crush it. Just do it like I always say, and you can do anything you put your mind to. We'll see you guys next time.